If you've ever had an issue with your trash pickup, maybe a pothole or overgrown weeds, you might be familiar with Memphis 311. We've also documented the inconsistencies with the system your tax dollars are paying for. And now WRG problem solver Stacy Jacobson talks with Mayor Strickland to find out what the city is doing about it. Yeah, normal recycling just goes right here on the other side of the meter and is next to the trash can. For weeks, Jessica Gaston says her Cordova household went without a recycling can. This is why you can see in her photo the wheel broke off. She put it in with her online 311 request for a cart repair. Then the recycling people came by, picked up the old one. My husband was actually outside when it happened and talked to him and said, hey, they haven't brought us the new one yet. And they said, no, it's fine. We can take it. They're going to bring you a new one anyway. But the new one never came. She put in a new request and showed us these records where it got closed, saying the cart has been repaired. You can see she answered, saying no cart has been delivered. It's a little disappointing. Um, because I know that they can do better than that, and it's a service that my taxes pay for. Gaston is not alone. The problem solvers started covering this issue more than two years ago. They're just closing the orders for whatever reason, and it makes it look like that they have done the service or performed the service, and they haven't. The message will be from the city that the debris has been picked up. What's the reality? The reality is it sits and it grows. That's also when we first spoke with Public Works Director Robert Connect about the closures. Here's what he told us. There are lots of things that happen with the service request in 311 they don't see. And I, like I said, that's a weakness in our system. That's why I think it, that's why we've been, that's we're looking to replace it. But we never heard anything more. Our email inquiries went unanswered. So we asked Mayor Jim Strickland about the issue. He promised to look into it. I don't mind doing an interview about it later, but let me get educated about it. As promised, two weeks later... Whatever you feel most comfortable with. Strickland sat down with us. He provided this informational packet. We learned the city has made changes to 311. According to the mayor, in the last two years, they've focused on better training of staff, especially people in the field who need to log what's going on. A new phone system that can link numbers with past requests, avoiding duplicates and clearer communication. Before we would just say words like, that didn't make much sense to non-users like duplicate or, or closed or some number. But Strickland admits some things still fall through the cracks. He says 311 logs 200,000 requests a year, breaking down to more than 500 a day. Why are people's requests still being closed without a resolution? I think it's, uh, uh, mostly human error. In fact, when we were with Gaston, she called 311 rather than use the online portal. Uh, yes, um, I have a request open. On the phone, the operator told her the online system wasn't set up to process a request regarding a recycling cart. That's why it got closed. They said calling was the only way to take care of it. That's a huge problem. I said, like, not just for you know, somebody in general who just doesn't have the time to make a phone call, but you've got so the problem, huge problem with disabilities being able to access. Like, what would you want to say to her? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, that's not acceptable. Sure enough, soon after the phone call, this new recycling can finally got delivered. It's an example of how small things make a big difference. I think we ought to set the bar high in city government. And, and when we don't meet it, people ought to call us on it, either the media or the public. Solving problems in Cordova. Stacy Jacobson, WREG News Channel 3. All right, trying to set the bar high. Now, we did ask if the online 311 system would be fixed to process the recycling cart request, and a spokesperson for the mayor answered, the citizen is always right. The mayor tells us if people do have trouble with other 311 complaints, they should call his office. So we'll post that number with this story on WREG.com.